well, moment of truth to see if this unit is worth anything. Hey, what's happening guys, it's Parker. So, I made a video about going to Walmart and buying the cheapest subwoofer and blowing it up. And it got a lot of views on it, people seemed to like it, or some of y'all disliked it, but, you know, whatever. The point of the video was to blow it up and that's what I did. Anyway, so I figured I would go to Walmart and buy the cheapest head unit and see if it was any good, see if it's a dud straight out, out of the box, or if it, you know, plugs in and plays and works. So we're gonna be getting one of those, testing them out. They have one, it's a dual, I believe, and it's right around 20 bucks. So let's check it out and see if it's any good. Okay guys, so we're here at Walmart. Right up here, this dual unit, $21.87. Got some other units in here, but that would be the cheapest. One's up to 100, 300. They also have some pretty cheap speakers. So if somebody would like me to make a video about those, I can do that too. But yeah, we're gonna be picking up that unit and testing it out. Okay guys, so here's the unit, the XDM16BT came out to around 23 bucks after tax. So we got Bluetooth, USB, MP3, aux. It says it's 120 watts or 30 watts times four. So that's, that is just uh, peak power though. Definitely not RMS power. It is not a CD player. Doesn't really say anything too helpful there. talks a little bit about each of the inputs all right guys so it's a few days later but we finally I'm getting around to installing the unit so here it is um, I looked online it is 16 watts RMS for uh, each channel and that is CEA rated and then the uh, and then the RCA pre outputs are two volts so yeah So we get our wire harness, and they do pre-cut the wires, so you can just pull the ends off and go ahead and get them going. We get a little control, the little tools, and just your little instructions manual. So here's the unit, as you can see. It is a teeny little unit. Here's a regular single den. Um, we've got the little, I believe this is, for in case they were to steal it from a store, we'll go ahead and pop that off. We have a 10 amp fuse. We actually have four pre-outputs, so that's kind of cool. A lot of cheap units only have two, but we have our front and rear or subwoofer regular antenna we have the DIN uh, connector here so it does not just pop off the faceplate does not pop off like most units do but you know it's a twenty dollar unit cool so we're gonna weigh our regular single DIN we have about two pounds, seven ounces. And then we're gonna weigh the dual unit. And it is about 13 ounces. So the components inside the unit probably gonna be a lot cheaper. Okay guys, so here is my wire harness. And this is what plugged into the Kenwood unit. So we're just gonna be cutting this here, stripping these wires down, and then connecting it up to the new wire harness. All right guys, so we have both ends of the wire harness ready. Now normally, I would use these little guys because you put these over and then you heat them up and it actually melts as a low heat solder, so that melts. And then it has two 
these little red things are uh, water seals and then you have your heat shrink over that it is a super good way to connect wires um and that's normally again normally how I, I would do it if i was installing this in somebody else's car or in one of my cars but since this radio probably won't be staying in my jeep very long since i'll be swapping it out to try out other units we're going to be using these little guys so these little things are really cool you just get your two wires twist them together push it through and then you tighten this down up top and it has a little cone a little reverse kind of cone in there and what that does is that clamps the wire together so that is what we are going to be doing with this unit you slide that over and then you just get this in and just crank it down and then it's in there really really good so we're going to do that to all the wires and then we'll be ready to hook her up okay guys so there we go they're all wired up we're gonna wire these two up when we get into the car because i have another wire that goes to the sub so we'll do that here in a sec but yeah now normally i would recommend you know you tape all this up so it, nothing gets caught or cut anywhere but for testing out you know not going to be a big issue whatsoever okay guys so here is the dash kit for my jeep Okie dokie, let's throw it in the car and see if it works. We're going to plug our little dash, our little wire harness in. We're going to plug both our sub leads in. Antenna. And then we're going to plug this in. Hopefully, this will work. Now, the one nice thing about this being a cheaper unit and that being thinner is that there's plenty of room in the back. Now, in this car, there's room anyway, but in some other cars, it can be kind of tight. Well, moment of truth to see if this unit is worth anything. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, we're going to go ahead and screw this in, set this in place. Okay guys, so we got the unit in. I got the Bluetooth hooked up. The password was 1234. That was pretty easy. It paired and seems to play pretty well. If you want to change the clock, just hit display hold it down and then you can go through that and go through that so that's cool we got mode go through your different kind of go through your different uh, channels okay guys so a big issue that I've seen for me and I could just not be knowing I could just not find the setting, but I looked all through the instruction manuals, didn't really say anything about it. There's not really a lot of settings. You can change your bass or your or your treble, balancer, fade, loudness, but that's about it. Uh, the EQ, if you, oops, if you turn on the EQ, it's really just a couple different presets, so it's not really too useful. But um, there's no way for me to ch adjust really the bass going to my sub apart from the, the speakers. So you can't, there's no high or low pass filters. And if I want more bass, this will turn up my subwoofer bass, but it also turns up the bass going to my speakers. And it's not 
there's no, you know, it's not blocking any of the signal going back to the subwoofer, which is fine. This My amp has a low pass filter on it, but there's no low pass filter here on the unit. Okay, guys, so we have the unit. We're going to hook up aux. We'll see if this will work. Hold up. works so now we're gonna test out USB so when I plug the unit in it'll say USB for a second then it just changes back to whatever preset I had it at if I play it uh, the unit just kind of dies or if I go through the settings while the USB is plugged in, see, it'll just randomly die on me. No idea why. Oh, there it goes again. However, when it's not plugged in, it works no problem. We're gonna go to Bluetooth. Because you're tripping, you better try your cranny or more, because your brain is slipping. You're beating me in something out of doubt. The only way you can pay came. Yeah, so the Bluetooth seems to work just fine though. And honestly, most people are gonna use the Bluetooth feature. So might not be a huge deal. And I mean I'm sure the USB works for other people, but just for me this seems to be a bad unit in that area. Um so yeah. <laughs> We tear us down with hateful sounds We lost our love and pray to God But can you save me still? Alright guys, thank y'all for watching I hope you enjoyed this video um, My general con consensus of this it's just that, you know, if you really need a cheap $20 unit just to get you some music, you can go ahead and pick it up. It seems to kind of work. Uh, the USB does not work, and it randomly cuts off. Um, I installed one of these for a buddy, and every time you would connect the ground to it, it would just short the whole unit out. So, you know, he ended up just buying the $50 unit, which seems to be just fine. I've installed a few of those, and those all seem to work totally fine. But this here $20 unit, again seems to work but doesn't have a lot of features has issues already and you know i would just imagine the more i use it the more issues i'm going to find um i wouldn't be surprised if it overheats or you know gets to where it doesn't just doesn't work properly at all but again it's a 20 dollar unit it's kind of crazy it's that cheap but i would definitely recommend picking up if you want to get a dual cheap unit i would pick up the 50 dollar one to have it at walmart or you know i would honestly i would get a sony or a pioneer or a jvc anything other than dual but if you really want to get this dual i would get the 50 dollars one anyway guys thanks for watching i'll leave a link to this unit in the description below i'll also leave leave a link to their 50 dollars unit um i would definitely recommend picking it up instead they do seem to work a good deal better but if you really need you know a 20 dollars unit this guy right here will get the job done Anyway guys, thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other units you want me to review, and I will do that. I'm going to be some more sub reviews coming soon. Uh, maybe some more Walmart like speaker re re reviews. I don't know. We'll see what they got and what I feel like installing. Anyway guys, thanks so much, and hope y'all have a great rest of your day.